Well, I'm still working on the deep woods, and I had a stump come in and uh, push, <laughs> push the tire right off the bead, and uh, so now I got a flat tire. So I don't know if I'll be able to recover it or not. But I do have my air compressor. So, but yeah, I've, I've done this for a long time, and you can't ever do big, heavy, dangerous work. Look at that, a rebar sticking right there, ready to, look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to mark that. Anyway, I've never done this kind of work. That'll pop a tire right there. Never done this kind of work without maybe, maybe that's what happened to that, without uh, some injury to your equipment. <laughs> No matter how careful you are. You see that uh, freaking rebar sitting right there? If I get my tractor going, I'll pull that right out of the ground. Can't believe that. Six inches of rebar sticking up in the space. Just amazing. Anyway, flat tire. Let's try to fix it. Well, while I run that uh, air compressor to fix that flat tire. So, broken bucket. Man, that had me the most worried. It was weird. Uh, Branch came right in, grabbed that pin, and just sheared off the other side. Boom! Off comes my bucket. Ah, that's that's an Escher thing right there. Incredible mousetrap. Let's look at the work I did. Oh, and now I've, I hit a little stump and pushed a bead right off the tire. Poof! Instant flat. Man. All right. Let's take a look here. So earlier in the video, I should have took some side-by-side -side before and after pictures. I didn't do that. Well, I could use the, the backwoods, it's just like it. I'm gonna take a picture of the backwoods and a picture of this woods, and that'll be my before and after. I'm getting there, looky here. Once I cut some of these trees out, there'll be enough that uh, we could put in a deep shade grass, give a, little, give a little food to some lambs and goats, get rid of some of these widow makers. So listen, while I'm in here pushing around, I've run into a bunch of trees dead trees caught in the look at that one see you bump them bam they come right down on your head and listen that you know 100 pounds falling from 20 feet up that's a broken neck so uh, i when i see those i try to push them down but there's a bunch of them like that standing they just couldn't fall over because the uh it's so crowded in here anyway uh and look see that oak is dead these oaks needed to be gotten to uh during the drought and saved, but uh, they're, some of them are gone now. Some of them are gone. But uh, look, I could see all the way up to the barn. You couldn't do that before. There is a promise of a decent little paddock here. Not this year. This year there'll be tufts of grass. We'll, I'll rake it out and there'll be little tufts of grass and you know, not much to write home about. There's a, one of the big logs. I, that's the one that got my tire, and I, I pushed it over. It came up. And one of those grabbed my, boop, pushed it right off. All right, there's a couple of big ones like that in there, but I'm seeing dappled sunlight. Uh, looks beautiful. I'm, I'm so much more pleased. I mean, it's okay to have scrub brush. You know, that's scrub in there. We're going to leave a buffer of scrub. Let me do it before and after, but... Uh, this has got this is promising. I've still got a lot of shredding to do. That little Mahendra is tough, isn't it? Tough, broken bucket or not? Tough. All right, let's see if we can get air in here. Get it back on the bead, maybe. You hear any leaking back there? I'm gonna have to put you down for a second. Right there. Well, while my uh this kind of stuff never ceases to amaze me. Somebody somewhere in time decided sticking rebar cut with a little tip to it is not a problem four feet off a driveway. It's just amazing. So uh, I've been beating on this and I know I can pull it out, but watch. Come on now, safety. 
Yeah, let's let's all use our head. That that was the most dangerous. Now I got to walk up and down this drive and see who in who in the world thought that, that was a good idea. Well, this is my last attempt to get that bead on with that. I put three tanks, uh, little tanks of that in there so far, but I'm going to use some Dawn around the edge. I don't have any of that starter starter fluid, or I try that little trick. But ultimately, I think I'm just going to take it in town and have it uh, mounted. So, man, this has been a rough day on me. All right. A little bit of dish soap on both sides. Woo-wee, this is hard. Woo-wee. All right. Get some dish soap down in there. Dish soap in there. Bubbles. I don't think I'm gonna, gonna make it. I need to go on the beat. What am I down to? Down to 60 pounds. I guess I could bring my truck over to here. Plug that in. Alright. Nope. I have a crap on my truck. <laughs> Tug on it. Well, if I don't have any other holes, I'm getting there on that. I'm getting there. Like I said, I saw the stump push it, but that's not to say it didn't pop a hole too. I got that piece of rebar out of the ground. That was a weird thing, wasn't it? I'm wondering if once upon a time people tried to stabilize these with rebar oh my gosh what a bad decision oh man that would be an awful decision i'll have to look and see anyway the tires pumping up i had to move the truck but i might win on this one <laughs>